2020 Porsche Cayenne Overview This third-generation Cayenne was all new in 2019, but it bears a striking similarity to the original model, which stunned the world when sports carmaker Porsche dared to introduce an SUV in 2003. The company has been perfecting its big, muscular, Turo SUV ever since without altering the basic formula. As with every vehicle bearing the Porsche badge on its hood, the Cayenne is designed to be exciting to drive as well as fast, well-built, and expensive. It can be had with several potent powertrains, ranging up to 455 horsepower in the e-hybrid plug-in model. And like the rest of Porsche's lineup of sports cars, sedans, and crossovers, it offers a vast array of optional, hard-to-resist goodies that will tempt your good sense and quickly drain your bank account. In other words, the Cayenne is a true Porsche. What's new for 2020? After Porsche's comprehensive 2019 remake of the Cayenne, there are only minor changes to the lineup for 2020. Wireless charging for enabled mobile devices is added as part of the smartphone compartment option. The Sport Design Package is now available in high-gloss black. The Porsche lettering and model designation can now be painted, the latter in body color, if desired. If you're okay with a mid-size, two-row SUV that sprints to 60 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds and tops out at 157 miles per hour, the base 2020 Cayenne should be enough for you. We think the standard Cayenne is the way to go, given its $68,150 base price. For that, you get a turbocharged 3.0-liter 335-horsepower V6 working through an 8-speed automatic transmission with standard all-wheel drive. You also get 8.2 inches of ground clearance and the ability to ford water up to 19.6 inches deep, should you ever want to take your shiny, hot rod SUV into the mucky, yucky wild. Standard equipment includes a 12.3-inch touchscreen, 10-speaker audio system, and a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. But things you'd expect to be standard at this price, such as heated front seats, aren't. That's why we'd order the $6,470 premium package, which adds those bun warmers along with a panoramic sunroof and a Bose surround sound system. Beyond that, beware, tens of thousands of dollars in juicy options and customization possibilities beckon. Engine, Transmission, and Performance If you want more performance than the base Cayenne delivers, the Cayenne S offers an even zestier setup courtesy of its 434-horsepower twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6. It bolts to 60 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. We haven't tested the plug-in hybrid model, called the e-hybrid, but its electric motor and turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 make a combined 455 horsepower and 516 lbft of torque. Its 14.1 kWh battery pack can be charged via a standard 3.6 kW onboard charger or an optional 7.2 kW unit. All three power plants pair with an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. The available Sport Chrono package brings selectable drive modes and improves acceleration. While the Cayenne Turbo, reviewed separately, is currently the most powerful version, its 541 horsepower twin turbo 4.0 liter V8 and six figure base price put it in different company. Porsche attempts to imbue every product with a particular set of skills, specifically those that cater to driving enjoyment. While making anything that weighs more than two tons move gracefully is challenging, the engineers in Stuttgart were successful with the Cayenne. In our testing, it moved quietly and steadily at highway speeds before seamlessly transitioning to twisty sections, where it showcased surprising athleticism for its size. Every model wears standard 19-inch wheels, but they can be optioned up to 22 inches. The largest rollers, however, reduce the ride quality on uneven roads. 
Every Cayenne has performance options that include adaptive dampers with or without an adjustable air suspension, four-wheel steering for improved maneuverability, and active anti-roll bars for flatter cornering. The Cayenne's brakes can be upgraded to Porsche's new tungsten-coated iron rotors, called Porsche Surface Coated Brakes, or PSCB, or costly carbon ceramic stoppers. The base model we tested had neither setup and still needed only 159 feet 